Uh, just a quick plot tour this morning, 2nd of July. We've got some beautiful scabias coming out here. Uh, the ami behind complements well in a vase with sweet peas or possibly these beautiful blue cornflowers. Just moving on, lots of borage flowering as well, loads of bees. Mini salad bed here, a lot of rosso, a lot of biondi, uh, some xanadu. About to pick that this morning, the sturgeons all growing at the side of the potatoes. They're all flowering now, these are growing under plastic. So we've got all the arches listed here. We've started pulling these now. Move further down. Broad beans here. These are nearly five foot high, these have grown so well this year. Uh, having looked like they weren't going to get anywhere. Let's move down here, some later peas, the second crop going in now, Ambassador. These are the um, red onions here, Robelia, with some Rothkopf onions behind. They're not to be too far away from pulling now. They've swollen up a lot in the last few days. Um, garlic here, just going rusty now. This is the hard neck that's coming off next week. I've actually interplanted leak modules right down through the row here. Let's move on down just behind that is the shallots. They're going to come off soon as well. And then the main crop onions from Sets uh, Hercules, which is the big ones I grow. They're going to stay in the ground another three weeks probably. Uh, just pulled some spinach from here and that's going to go into second crop lettuce, which is ready to go out this weekend. More sweet corn here. Just a few spare plants from a different variety. <coughs> beetroots here. Lots of baby beetroots. Just the right size for picking at the moment. This is Boltardi. Had a really good crop of this this year. And there's just regrown spinach behind, which is going to be cleared for the lettuce. And uh, just one more picking off of that. <coughs> just move around here for some brassicas. Some cabbages there. Some Cavolo Nero. A few um, cabbages it's themselves. We've got a couple of collies here, which need to be picked this weekend. A bunch of spring onions. Then behind the asparagus, uh, mange two peas against the fence. It's looking good. Just swing round to the, the raspberries. Uh, fantastic. Again, these raspberries do so well here. Um, won't be long now before these are starting to ripen. Two big fat rows of these. And just pick and pick and pick on these. Lots and lots more here, as you can see. Strawberries, still picking strawberries. Almost too many strawberries. Can you have too many strawberries? They don't freeze very well, but uh, this is the first um, year for this one, so I haven't picked these very hard and cut runners off and so forth. Uh, lettuce just coming to an end now, just starting to bolt. Uh, interplanted with some brassicas and some leeks. These, uh, <coughs> these rouge, bijou rouge have done well. And they're coming out now. Saragotha just starting to bolt. On the other side we've got some freckles as well. These uh, Xanadus are still okay to pick for a little while longer. These are interplanted with French beans so these are coming out very soon, these red ones. And then the sweet corn here, looking really good. That's already over three foot high. Knee high 1st of July so it's easily surpassed that. And we've got some fennel in here, some lovely bulbs of fennel, looking good. With some celeriac and celery behind. This um, celery is pink blush, you see the different colour there, to the whiter celeriac or the greener celeriac behind. And then we're around to, left a few spring onions over this year. So these are now green bulb onions that we can pick um, until the uh, main crop onions are ready. And then the wall of sweet peas here, which is just we've just picked and picked and picked these this year. And I've popped in some beetroots amongst the chrysants in here, which will uh, be away before these chrysants fill out. We've got some, uh, there's a black carrot bush there actually, at the end of the row. So we've got some nice black carrots coming on here. See them in the foliage. This ami's done well again here. Just pop it in anywhere really. So that's a quick tour of the plot. Quick idea what's going on here in North Dorset. If anybody's down the 303 and wants to call in and have a look, you're more than welcome. 
send me a message and enjoy your gardening. Thank you.